So this is a closed chain traction technique to help improve elbow flexion for your stiff elbow patient. This works really well in the hand clinic. Um, all you need is a belt. You need a cuff weight to put underneath the elbow. So you start with placing the cuff weight underneath the patient's proximal forearm. You want the olecranon free. You also want to pre-position the patient's hand in a supinated position because we know the coupled motion for elbow flexion is combined with supination. We ask the patient to just hold that position. I'm going to come in, and this is where if you have some dysum or like shelf liner, that will be helpful to place right just proximal to the antecubital fossa. So the belt is going to come around the distal aspect of his humerus here, and we're going to clip that in here, and tighten that up a little bit, and then I'm going to put the dysum or non-stick material just underneath that to help hold that in place. My direction of pull is going to be at a 45 degree angle. Keep in mind that my, because my concave surface is fixed, as I pre-position him in further flexion, I don't have to change my line of force. So I'm going to place this right up underneath the upper part of my back here, just underneath my axillary region. But the important piece is I want to make sure I'm not too far lateral because I don't want to put stress on the medial aspect of his elbow. I want to stay directly behind him. So I hold this in place. I ask him to lean forward to pre-position in a comfortable range. And then I use my left hand here just to stabilize his scapula. Because as what happens is the tendency is he's going to want to try to come back. So I want to hold that in place. I'm going to lean back to provide the traction. And then I can do a grade three or a grade four static hold. As he improves, I can have him go further into flexion. Because my concave surface remains fixed, I don't have to change my line of pull. And that's a good stretch right here. I can do a grade three or a grade four.